Look at that. No need to heal. None at all. What's up, everybody? I'm Dear Gamer. Welcome back to the channel today. Today, we're back in some more Diablo floor. And what I am doing, I am giving you my level 40 plus immortal shadow rogue build. This thing is absolutely disgusting. We do crazy damage. You don't die in battle. I've been using this build to run through the story. I'm at Act 5 right now. As you guys know, the enemies scale up and level up as you do. So, one, I'm not dying. I'm doing major damage. And I'm going to show you guys how to utilize the build. All the things you got to look out for. I am on World Tier 2. You can go on World Tier 1. And you definitely won't die. But in World Tier 2, you won't die. But you just got to make sure you just pay attention to what's happening in the battle. So, about to go over the skills, the abilities you need. And some armor pieces I will keep my eye on when it comes to some skills you're going to be looking for to put on your build. So my family, without further ado, let's dive in. So first things first, we're going to start with the abilities. What are we using to make this all possible? So first thing first, we're going to start with Puncture because one, this thing is amazing. It's short distance and allows you to do crazy damage really quick. I have all it all the way maxed out. And the reason why is because when you have it down here, Whenever you hit two blades on the enemy, it does vulnerable damage. Vulnerable damage is our main status multiplier that we're going to focus on in this build because it gives you 20% increase in damage. So this one, you gain two energy when you puncture enemies, so you're gaining energy. And you make the enemies vulnerable, which you do even more damage. I just max this up so that I can do damage as well. My main attacking skill is going to be no other than Flurry. I love Flurry because it does good damage. It's fast. It's low energy cost. Only 24 compared to some of the other ones. This one's 28. Not that bad. The, uh, these 24, 28, 28, and 33. I like this one. It's fast. It's quick. When you get the aspect that makes it go in a circle, which I'll show you in a second, it's a must have because it makes it even better. Cool thing about this, what makes us a little bit of immortal or health region is every single time you strike a vulnerable enemy you or you hit it you strike a controlled or a vulnerable enemy you heal one percent of your maximum health so our whole point of doing this is to make them vulnerable let me go over here with this ability and boom we're just healing as well and the last skill as well if you if it if it hits any any vulnerable enemies all the enemies will be cast with vulnerable as well making everybody vulnerable meaning you heal even more i have Penetrating shot just as my range ability just in case I'm, I see something in the distance. I want to snipe it I have this ability on there it's strong moving along. I think that's all I have. Oh, I also You need this close damage reduction level three of it because what it does is Just like it says it decreases the amount of damage you do on enemies that are close up to you because this is a melee build I'm doing a melee build focus on this because I like melee action So I'm gonna be in the action this one heals 2% of your maximum life when you critically strike close enemies that is what can make this build even better the higher your critical chance is critical chance increases your critical strike the damage the higher your critical chance is the more you're going to heal and more damage you're going to do so when i was talking at the beginning of the video skills you want to look out for is you want to look out for skills like critical strike chance on your armor pieces if you get one that's really good you want to hold on to it moving down along i only have i have this ability here because one Increasing my damage of daggers against healthy enemies or sword increases my overall damage by 9%. This is just extra damage, so I had to do it. I only have one level of dash. I'm not that mobile in this build. Mobility is not a problem because we're not necessarily dodging. So I just have dash just in case I want to get out of the way. I have a boss that's going to do a big attack. I want to move quickly. I have to have dash in there. Down here, we have this ability, which is a really good exploit. You deal 18% increased damage to healthy, which is a lot... That means they have 80% or more of their health or injured enemies. And that means they have less than 35% of their health. This one is amazing. So Malice, what it does is you deal 9% increased damage to vulnerable enemies. And if you know this whole build, this whole thing is focused on vulnerable. It does vulnerable damage, vulnerable heal. We apply vulnerability down here as well. So vulnerable uptime is 100% in this build. So now next, we are going to go down here. This is where things get spicy. We have the shadow imbuement. Why well, I like shadow because one is dope. When you defeat the enemies, they explode dealing crazy damage all around enemies. And also too, when you, if you look at this, because I have the flurry, they explode all around, making the radius explode all around me as well. It's absolutely disgusting to see. So kind of going back here, I have this maxed out to do more damage. So make sure they explode afterwards. This one, if it gives you increased 15% chance of critical strike against injured 
or afflicted enemies with with shadow imbuement so if they're down to 35 percent health you're just gonna be critting like crazy and those those dicey moments you're gonna be healing this last one as well it gives you whenever the explosion happens you get all the enemies get vulnerable on them and since they're exploding when vulnerable and flurry everything gets vulnerable afterwards this one's good because imbued skills gain nine percent increased critical strike chance making sure that the more i crit so it's more it's important for me to crit the more i crit the more heal health i'm gonna be healing when i do my abilities down here shadow clone is dope because this makes another dude for you and just keep attack 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 attacking you can do these ones to level up your shadow clone abilities but i spent my points in haste and well because haste is disgusting so this is what happens while above 50 percent of energy you gain increased movement speed i'm not moving i don't care about that but when we start getting crazy and we get below 50 percent of our energy we gain 15 percent attacking speed and if you notice i'll show you in a second my build is always focused on doing a much attack as well increasing that attack speed we've got a couple of things that are going to make it even faster for my ability for my ultimate my passive i'll use close quarter combat because that's what we're doing boost attack speed and bonuses up to 20 percent increase around crowd controlled enemies so that's the build down here specialization you want combo points that way as i use my basic skill i get attack bonuses on my core skill and i got 4.5 seconds attack speed on my basic skills as well so just disgusting last but not least this is not a, a weapon armor build just yet because we're leveling up i don't keep my armor pieces until i get better stuff after level 50 so right now if you get something good just swap it out don't even hold on to it so looking at this what are some things i want to look out for i want to look out for life on kill life on kill is important because every time you kill an enemy you get 20 life and if you go over here you press the button and it kind of gives you all the breakdowns of all the things you got going on right now i'm a decked character so I want to increase it talent kills you on the left what each attribute does right now if you're not going to focus on this because you're just swapping armor like crazy whatever stronger you put it on so you're going to get a, a barrage of stats so it kind of gives you a little breakdown but if you look over here my goal is to one increase my crit chance as well and also increase my health my my health heal on kill so critical chance right now is 7%. Remember, when they have Shadow Imbuement at under 15%, I get I get additional 15%. And also, I get a 9% increase when I use my Shadow Imbuement skill because of that perk I have. So, this is actually higher than what it is. And it's because I, my attack speed is so high, I have a higher chance of getting out more crits, which would give me more times more damage, but also at the same time, give me more opportunities to heal. That's why attacking speed is so important with the rogue in this build because it gives you more chance to crit and heal coming down here you kind of see where my my life on kill is i get 36 life on kill i have 950 health that's a good amount every time you sn I snipe out an enemy you get a lot of health back so uh, gems i would put on so just going through my armor nothing too crazy on my armor pieces because i tell you i just swap them out i'm not holding on to anything yet the only thing I make sure I have on my build is this flurry aspect, which allows me to deal damage. My attack does a circle radius at attack when I'm using it. Everything else is all fine. On uh, my actual gems, I would recommend using the little skulls because they give you life on kill every time you put it on your weapon. So I get 5%, 5 health, 5 health, life on kill, 5 health. That's 15 life. Um, health region i get just by having those gems so looking at this i'm in a crowd right now look at that and we're back to full health a lot of times you don't even have to heal because we're getting health on kill but the same time, i didn't even use my shadow imbuement in that moment because it was already over again so now let's keep on going bunch of enemies over here we'll use shadow boom look at those crits everything's gone before I could even load things up again, it was already over. We got a boss up here. This is going to be great. So, got a bunch of enemies. Shadow. Boom. Boom. And I put my Shadow Clone out, making me attack even faster. Look at that. No need to heal. None at all. 
And if you notice, my attack speed is even faster now because I'm low on energy. My god, I did not heal one time. World Tier 2 destroyed everything. I got a little dicey. When you play Rogue, it's, a, it's an exciting class because you got to be on your toes. But there is no need to worry because the build house is down. Hit that. Attacking speed increase. Healing. No problem. Gets dicey. Use our shadow ability. They blow up. We get the crit back. Beautiful. And that's why I chose to opt with Ninja, my Shadow Clone instead. Because it's attacking with me as well, giving me more health. Just like that. So make sure you guys subscribe for more Diablo builds. No need to worry. Uh, this is perfect example. Let them keep coming. Here we go. I'm just gonna stand in the middle. No need to run. Wait, what happens if we go low on energy? We attack even faster. Just destroy. Just, just get close the distance. Bam. Well, now let's see what he can do against a boss. Got my shadow clone out. It's okay. We're going toe to toe. Woo! The bosses are different. You gotta make sure you just watch out for their little abilities they do. So we're just taking hits. Okay. See, we we're able to go toe to toe right there. Didn't need to heal at all. And we're safe. Get that back. That's actually better when they summon enemies because it gives you higher opportunity to, to heal on the kill of them. Oh, I'm vulnerable. Shadow clone. Got dicey towards the end. Got dicey towards the end, but not needing to heal out to the very end of the fight. Come on. Come on. Let's go. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you're new, make sure you subscribe. Share the video with anyone that plays Rogue that wants to learn more. Because we're going to be mastering the Rogue character in the game. We're going to do this. Get to level 100. Then we'll do some hardcore content before season 1 drops. So, family, stay smooth until next time. Dear gamer, sunny now. Have you ever